time now for better food. Kara, do you like biscuits? I mean, of course, who doesn't? Well, Grace Vallow of, of the blog Tastefully Grace is joining us now. She's showing us how to make a bacon cheddar buttermilk biscuit. Yum. Hi, Grace. Hi. I'm so happy to be back on. I'm also excited to be making these bacon cheddar biscuits. I have to admit, I'm kind of a biscuit snob. Whenever I go to brunch places, I'm always looking for a really good biscuit. And these I've perfected. They are so good. They're savory, so you can have them for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. They're just amazing. All right, are they hard to make? That's what we want to know, Grace. Super simple, actually, promise. All right, let me show you how to make these. So we're gonna start off with some flour. We have two cups of flour here. You're just gonna stick it in a big bowl. This will be our working bowl. And then I have some baking soda here, just about a half a teaspoon, and also a little bit of baking powder that we're gonna pop in here, about two teaspoons. And we're gonna take a pastry cutter. You can also use a fork. You can use the attachment on a KitchenAid and use like the dough hook. And you're just gonna go ahead and mix together all these dry ingredients. And once they're combined, we're going to add all the fun stuff, all the fun flavors. So we have some bacon here. I just cut the bacon and just chopped it up into little chunks. And I have some cheddar cheese. I love sharp cheddar cheese, but you can also use, you know, mild cheddar. You can use like Swiss, Gruyere, whatever cheese you have in the house. Um, you know, cheesy biscuits, it's all the same. <laughs> They're all delicious. And then I have just a little bit of chives. And I like chives in this just because it kind of cuts the richness of the biscuits. Um, and it's just a nice top of green too. And then again, you're just gonna take that pastry cutter and just mix together all of the, again, dry ingredients until they're nice and combined. And then here comes the butter. Lots of butter and biscuits. I have an entire stick of butter uh -huh. here. We want to use cold butter. Um, cold butter actually makes flaky biscuits. If you use room temperature or melted butter, they're not gonna be as flaky. They're just gonna kind of be dense. So we're gonna add that all in and take your handy dandy pastry cutter or fork and use all your muscles and go ahead and just combine the butter into all the dry ingredients until it forms like a coarse crumble. So you can just mix everything in. And once you feel like you have a nice coarse crumble down, you're going to add your buttermilk, which is basically gonna bind all of the ingredients together into a dough. So we have about three quarters of a cup of buttermilk and you can actually make buttermilk at home, even if you don't have it in the fridge on hand. Uh, all you do is take um, some milk, about a cup of milk, and add about two tablespoons of white vinegar to it huh. and mix it together and it will resemble buttermilk, which is pretty I, I, cool I, I if you don't have buttermilk that. on hand. Yeah, I've heard that before. So just two tablespoons of a little white vinegar and that'll be it. Now, what if you- Right. And you can you, oh, go ahead. Do you need, you need to use regular milk, right? Or what if someone's got some sort of non-dairy milk? Is that okay or not really for this? Um, I'm not sure if that would work great. You can substitute like a half and half if you don't necessarily have like regular milk on hand, but it might be a bit challenging using like a almond milk or something like that. But I would be interested to find out. <laughs> okay. So um, and basically you're just going to work with the dough until it combines into like a big giant dough ball. Um, if you can't form into a dough ball, you want to add more buttermilk. Um, it's not quite, uh, you know, cohesive enough. And then once you have that big dough ball, you're going to take a quarter cup measure. It's funny, my hands are like a <laughs> disaster. And you're just going to add about a quarter cup of dough into your quarter cup and then place it right on your baking sheet just like that, make sure the baking sheet is greased because you don't want the biscuits to stick. And I'm gonna go ahead and just rinse my hands quick. But what you're gonna do is you're just gonna bake these for about uh, 12 to 16 minutes at 425. 
just until they're nice and golden brown and crispy on the top. And then you'll have these beautiful biscuits here. Yeah. And if you, uh, they are just so good. And if you want a little something on the side, maybe some like flavored butter, a quick little recipe is just taking some softened butter, just maybe like four tablespoons or so. And you want to add about a tablespoon of maple syrup in there. Oh yeah, okay. Stir it together. Even maybe some like bacon drippings from when you cooked the bacon and stir it all together and you'll have this beautiful maple butter. I don't know wow. if you can see. Grace, it all looks delicious. Thank you so much. Thanks, Grace. Oh, absolutely. Thanks, guys. Send us a biscuit. <laughs> And for more information, you can just go to Grace's Facebook or Instagram. The handle is Tastefully Grace. You'll find the recipe there, too. And she also has a YouTube page. You can search Tastefully Grace and maybe watch her do that all over again.